Hi there. In this video, we are going to take a look at how I made a kind of a custom clamping system for the Brunner CLS E NG yoke. First of all, I love this yoke. This one is absolutely incredible. I really can't go back to using a non force feedback yoke after using this because it just feels like flying a real airplane. It's truly amazing, truly amazing. And I definitely recommend this for anyone that can afford it. It is a bit pricey. This being the entry level yoke that Brunner offers. It's still 1200 euros plus shipping. So definitely recommend it if you can afford it. It's a blast to, to have. Now, there is just one little thing that uh, kind of is kind of strange with this. And it's that for a 1200 euro yoke, Brunner couldn't include a proper clamping system. Come on, Brunner. I guess uh, the reasoning behind that is uh, these are premium yokes and they're meant to be permanently fixed into a sim pit of sorts. Or you're supposed to drill holes in your desk and then just screw them down with uh, screws. But if you're like me and you don't just use your computer for flight simming and you would like to be able to remove the yoke easily uh, whenever you need to and don't feel like drilling holes in your desk, then you're out of luck because these yokes don't come with clamp systems. Even though the manual describes that the two ways to mount it down is to use screws or to use clamps. But they don't come with clamps and Brunner offers no option to buy any types of clamps that fit this particular yoke. So the solution is to buy some generic clamps like I have. I've bought these which are just microphone clamps. But these don't work uh, with this yoke just out of the box. Because all you have to work with down here are these tiny little tabs. And they're way too small in order for these clamps to be effective. I'll have to tighten, down, tighten them down quite a lot in order to make a good grip on that really narrow uh, tab. So what I have done is that I've made a very simple adapter, if you will, which uh, I just made and 3D printed. And this one is pretty simple, but as you can see that it has this little notch right here, and this one follows the, the uh, dimensions and curvature of this tab. And watch this. If I just do this while I hold the camera, press it down like this, it's a snug fit. And do this on both sides, like that, just doing that while I'm holding the camera, like this. Once again, a snug fit. And now, as you can see, I have effectively increased the surface area in which this clamp can get a good grip on that small little tab. So now, if I do this while, once again while holding the camera, I, this one covers the entire surface area of that clamp now. And I can tighten it down pretty firmly. And I can do the same thing with uh, the other one. Sorry about my uh, really crappy filming here. I'm trying to do two things at once. This one is now there. This one is there. And I'll come back to you when I've uh, tightened the clamps down. So be back in a sec. All right, so I'm back. Uh, the clamps are now tightened down on both sides and the yoke is now connected to power so we have power there so this one has resistance now i'm not going to test it with the real sim but i'm just going to test how the resistance works out of the box so i'm going to trim forwards by pulling back on the stick so that it can get to be the highest resistance it can while being idle like this it's so pulling back trimming forwards and i can feel it's getting heavier and heavier continuing to pull back all the way and as you can see I'm starting to to pull the desk which means this clamping system it's doing its job perfectly so that's pretty much it a very simple solution uh, if any of you guys are interested in uh, getting the model for these and 3d printing them yourself then I'm happy to send them to you uh, they may not work for your particular clamps unless you get the exact same clamps that I have uh, but uh, you're you're free to uh, to modify the 3D model as you wish and uh, and create one that uh, works with your particular clamp. I don't know if the uh, these tabs are different on the other Brunner yokes, but uh, if you have the CLS ENG like I have, uh, then this part 
and this part should fit. And all you need to do is to modify the surface area here to fit your particular clamp as you buy. Remember, all of this, uh, the, the purpose of this is just to, uh, to make sure that the clamp have a bit more surface area to, to work with. And that's all it's doing. And this is just plastic, right? So it's not that strong, but because it's just pressed down into the table and onto that tab, it's enough uh, for the clamp to do its job properly. So there's that. Once again, thanks for watching and um, let me know if you want the, this 3D model and I hope that this inspired some people to find solutions for their uh, own uh, Brunner yokes. So uh, that's it. Uh, bye for now.